Want to know how to stand out at soccer tryouts? Then stick around. Hey, I'm Dylan Joseph, soccer trainer and number one best-selling Amazon author. To increase your skills, learn how to overcome average performances, as well as boost your soccer self-esteem, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon. And stick around to the end of this video to learn what coaches are doing, where you'll need to actually get their attention. Today we're discussing the easiest thing that you can do to stand out at tryouts. And honestly, this is a bit of a cheat code in terms of making it a lot easier for the coaching staff to select you for their team. It takes no skill whatsoever as a soccer player but ensures every single time that you get noticed by the coaches. So what is the tip? The tip is to communicate. So what does it mean to communicate? Well, let's dive in exactly what you should be doing to communicate effectively at your tryouts. Communicating is best used in any scrimmages or small-sided games that allows you to direct other players what to do. Not in a bossy tone, but in a helpful tone as in I'm competitive and I want to help you win and me win for our team. Things to say include turn, you have pressure, take your space, cross Cross the ball, play it backwards, pass it out wide, dribble him, dribble her, lay off the ball, push up, man on or woman on, here. Communicating these things will, one, help your team win all the scrimmages and small sided games in your tryouts. Two, it will help you stand out to the coaches as one of the few people that are actually a talker. Three, boost your confidence in other areas of soccer because a lot of the other players will start viewing you as a leader. Talking and communicating effectively are easy to do and easy not to do. And think about it, you don't need good defensive positioning, you don't need quick foot skills, you don't need a rocket of a shot in order to stand out by just communicating. Because the coach hears you more, it'll make sure that they see you more. And this does two very important things. The first is it ensures that you get a fair look. Second, it makes it seem like you're working harder and doing more because the coaching staff and the coach keeps noticing you. Could you give this video a like? A coach, they often associate the players that talk the most as being good players. Whether they're good or not, them talking, it's easier for the coach to be like, oh yeah, that's a good player, they know what they're doing. So, by communicating, it's a super easy way to stand out. When I first started posting memes, fun facts, different stuff about soccer on my Instagram at Understand Soccer, the first person to reach out to me to ask for advice on how to succeed in their tryout, this was the tip that I gave them. Keep in mind that I messaged the soccer player through an app with only a one minute very quick clip of what exactly he needed it to do and communicate in the actual tryouts. He took the tip, implemented it, then made the team. He reached out, told me that that happened, and then I said, great job, it's all that hard work and effort that you put in. He responded with, though those definitely helped me and gave me additional looks by the coaching staff during our tryouts, your one tip was the reason that I made the team. I replied, no, there's honestly so many other factors, it was definitely you, and he's like, no, Coach Dylan, Honestly, the one thing that made it so I made the team, the coaching staff told me at the end, was my ability to communicate more than anyone else. Thanks for the help. It blew me away how effective this one tip can be on how to make the team. Me giving it to the first player, and that's keeping in mind that I also used it for myself to make many teams, giving it to the first player that I did, and they come back and say that is the specific reason that I made the team, that's huge. And several other things are revealed in the book, Soccer Tryouts, How to Make the Team, using the link in the description below. Remember, you need to communicate as loudly as you possibly can. Keep in mind that the coaching staff is often several, several yards away and on the sidelines and away from you, so if they can't hear you, it doesn't count. You need to communicate super loudly so your teammates and the coaching staff can definitely hear you. Often, coaches are talking to other coaches and other players on the sidelines, so they don't have to look at you. By hearing you, they know that you're working hard and you're really out there doing your best. Again, the more instances they notice you doing something good, such as communicating it, the more times in their mind they'll say, this is a good player, this is a good player. Oh, that's so and so again, they're a good player. So be sure to subscribe to avoid missing that next weekly video on 11 tips to help ensure that you make the team. And click here for the video on how to make a great first impression at tryouts.